everyone, Shaber1000 here. Today we're going to be trying out a recipe that I saw on YouTube from Cowboy Kent Rollins and uh, we're going to see how it turns out today on Chef Shaber. Okay guys, so what we're going to be making is what he called cowboy goulash. Um, I'm sure we've all made goulash. I've made it several times, but I've never made it quite like he did. So I'm going to try it um, pretty much the way he did. Uh, there's a couple things going to be a little different, but you'll get the idea. Um, so, but I'll go over the ingredients. You're going to need some elbow macaroni. Um, he used the large, but uh, Monkey couldn't get the large, so we just got regular elbow macaroni here. We're going to need some tomato paste. We've got, now he used two cloves of garlic. I'm going to use three. We need two pounds of ground beef. It's right here. We're going to brown that up. One large yellow onion. We've got some, um, this is Kikamon soy sauce. Now, you can use Worcestershire sauce, um, which I have used before, but he said this was much better, so I'm going to try this. We've got some diced tomatoes, which he used, uh, he used whole tomatoes in a can, and but then he kind of cut them up, but we're just going to use these diced tomatoes. I'm going to use, um, the Lowry season salt, lemon pepper, um, I'm going to use some cayenne pepper, which I have some uh, cayenne peppers from the garden. I think I'll cut one or two of them up and add into it. We're going to have some paprika. Now he used smoked paprika. I, I don't have any smoke, but I've got regular paprika here, so that's what we're going to use. By the way, this, he used uh, two tablespoons. I'm going to use three. We're going to need, we're going to use some um, chicken broth, which will be a half a cup of this and a half a cup of water when we get to that stage. That's pretty much what this consists of. Now he used, um, he used uh, some kind of green peppers he added in. I may cut up a couple on my own from the garden. Um, but like I said, I've said it before and I'll say it every time. This is your recipe. You just get the idea. You can add subtract uh, substitute whatever what whatever you want to do but I'm going to try to get close to what what he did um, it looked good he said it was good of course he always does but uh, anyway so this is this is not my recipe um, this is his it's from cowboy Kent Rollins link will be in the description below if you watch him I watch him from time to time about 90% of the stuff I see him do I've done pretty much in the same fashion, like the chili and stuff like that, the chicken that he does, um, or close to it, you know. But this was a little different, I thought. Like, usually I would use tomato sauce. So this this is going to be like a stew. So first off, we're going to we're going to brown the hamburger meat. Um, he used 80/20, so it's there's less fat. But if you have some fat, you can always strain it off. It's no big deal. So let's go ahead and we'll get the, the hamburger in here. Also, he used his um, his Dutch oven, which you're not supposed to use acidic things like um, uh, like tomato sauce, tomato paste, or anything like that in your Dutch oven. But so I'm I'm just going to use this one because my Dutch oven is not that old. Um, just take care of it. He explains all that to you if you want to swing past and check his video out once you're done with this video so let's go ahead and get the hamburger in by the way it's two pounds so again you can use more or less it's up to you this is just kind of an idea okay so like I said we're going to go ahead we're going to put our ground beef in here and we're going to go ahead and let this get a little bit browned up just until it's almost brown before we add the onions okay now once we get to that stage that's that's when I will add the uh, 
um, the garlic. This is fresh clove. Uh, he had a mincer. I don't have a garlic mincer, so I just diced mine up. You can use, you know, the garlic, which we usually have on hand, but we've been out, and I keep forgetting to pick them up. But it's in a bottle. It's already mixed, minced up. Just use a teaspoon or two of that, depending on three, if you like, you know. Um, so what we're going to do is we're just going to go ahead, we're going to let this brown up. I'm going to go ahead and throw a little bit of seasoning in right now just to kind of help it along um, now we're using chicken broth like he said you know uh, salt and pepper you can add a little pepper now but salt you, you might want to wait till later to do that because there's already going to be enough sodium in this which makes sense and now he explains it a little bit better but he pretty much said that so I'm just going to add a little bit of this on here I'm going to put the lid on just like that and we're going to let that start browning up okay we've got this is almost brown so I'm going to go ahead it's pretty much brown but I'm going to go ahead and put these in the onions in and our garlic now I'm going to stir this up and I'm going to just give it just a couple more minutes. Uh, like I said, he, he does his just a little bit different, but it, it it's pretty close. I don't want to, you know, steal his recipe. So his, but it's it seems like a good recipe, so uh, I thought I'd give it a try. But, you know, like I said, this is totally, as far as I know, his recipe. So... I am giving full credit to him, but I am going to try it. So let's let that cook just a couple more minutes, and then we'll start adding the rest of the ingredients. Okay, folks, now we're going to add some more of the ingredients here. So what I'm going to do, I did have to drain a little bit of fat out of mine, but it wasn't a lot. But like he said, 80-20. So I'm going to add a half a cup. This is one cup, so I'm going to add a half a cup of the uh, the chicken broth. Again, it don't have to be perfect amount. I add this in there. Now I'm going to get a half a cup of water. I'm going to put that in there. Okay. Like I said, he used um, stewed um, tomatoes. <coughs> Excuse me. I just got these diced, but he did cut them up a little bit. He just dumped them right in there. Now we're going to get... He said, make sure you use all this. It'll thicken it up like a stew. So that's exactly what we're going to do. Not only that, it will have a very good flavor to it so I haven't done a chef shea bear in a little while so I thought well we was watching him last night and uh, monkey said well I want you to make that for me I said, okay when she said tomorrow I said all right you buy the stuff she said you can do a video on it I said, well that's a great idea okay I did use two of my cayenne peppers crushed up so I'm just going to add them in there. Yes, I use seeds and all. Some people don't like to. Some people like to just use the seeds, period. But I just put them both in there. Now, we're going to... We're going to add some paprika. Like I said, he used smoke, which I love smoked paprika. Um, he said a couple, couple tablespoons of that. We're going to put some cayenne pepper in here this is brand new but I'm not going to use a lot of this since we put the cayennes in it so I'm just going to use um, let's call it about a tablespoon that should be plenty okay so that again I'm just going to add a little bit of seasoned salt not a lot 
because you don't have to, <coughs> excuse me, add a lot of salt to this recipe. So just a little bit. Uh, again, your seasoning, however you want it. Um, he used uh, he used two tablespoons <coughs> of the soy sauce. I'm going to use three. Like I said, again, it's it's not science. It's it's kind of just the basic. It's a basic recipe. Two. Three. All right. Now, what we're going to do before we're going to give this a, give this a stir, and we're going to get this all combined in here, incorporated nicely, mix well. <laughs> you guys know what that's from, right? Some of you might. Okay. Now, what we're going to do with this is now what he did, and I'm going to try to do it pretty much like he did. This has really turned out looking good. He um, he he brought it up to a boil, and then he turned it back down. Once it comes up to a boil, he turned it back down to a simmer, and he let it simmer for uh, 15 to 20 minutes, and he stirred it one time in between. What that does is just get these flavors in there before we add our macaroni. Then we'll add our macaroni. So when we get to that part, I'll kick you back on. See, it's starting to come up to a boil as we speak. So I'm just going to give it another little stir. Also, he put two bay leaves in his. I didn't have bay leaves, and I forgot to tell Monkey to get some. So that's okay. Uh, it's no big deal. So, all right. So that's coming up to a boil now. Now I'm going to turn it down, and I'm going to simmer this for about... Uh, I'm going to give it about, he didn't say about what time. He just said he stirred it once in between the 20 minutes. Uh, I'm going to give it about 10 minutes. I'm going to stir it one time. We'll let it cook. Then I'll stir it again and we'll add our macaroni. Okay, guys, we're back. It's been exactly 20 minutes. I stirred it about 10 minutes in. Um, now... We're going to give it another little stir. Now we're going to add our our uh, elbow noodles. Now, like I said, this is two cups, but it's the small it's the small noodles. So I don't know how much is in a big in the bigger ones in a box, but this is one pound box. It took about half the box, so that's about a half a pound of the small ones. So we're going to pour these in here. Now, he says you don't want them al dente, but then again, you don't want them to collapse. So I think he ended up cooking, cooking his for about 15 minutes. You're just going to let this simmer. Look how nice and thick that is already. So I'm going to let it simmer about 10 minutes, and I'll take the lid off, and I'll stir it up, and uh, give them a taste, see what they're like. Now, you can always add more or less. It's up to you. And then, like I said, we'll give it about 10 minutes. We'll check it. But I think his ended up, what, being about 15 minutes, Monk? Yeah. I think is what he ended up uh, cooking his for total time. So I'm going to try to do it the way he did it. Not al dente, but then again, not where they're collapsing and soggy. Okay, guys, so it's been a total of 15 minutes. I stirred it a couple times. This is what we've got here. Now, I did taste a noodle, and it's just about right. Almost perfect. It's not al dente, but it's also not real mushy. So, I'm going to slide this over here. I do have the heat turned. Well, there. It's, it's turned off now. If you got a gas stove, you don't have to worry about it. But I'm going to slide it over because we all know these glass stove tops stay hot for a while. I don't want to overcook this. So, I'm going to move this over. Monkey's here. She's going to give it a shot. Okay, we got Monkey over here. Hi, Monk. All right, she's going to be my guinea monkey. Guinea monkey. Yeah, she always tries everything. She has yet to make a bad face. If she does, you won't see the video anyway. So, ha uh ha. -huh. Give it a shot, monkey. Be careful. It's very hot. Yeah, it is. Get you a little bit of everything. It looks in really there. good. Yep. <laughs> it's hot. 
Ja. Mmm. Oh yeah. Is it good? Mm-hmm. Should, okay. should they try it? Mm-hmm. Okay guys, so there you go. It's a cowboy goulash from Cowboy. What is it? Cowboy. What the hell's the name? I don't remember. Cowboy Kent Rollins. Link That's in the it. description below. So thanks for watching guys. Shea Bear the Myth Man Legend. I'm gone for now. Mike Sish is out. Bye y'all. Bye bye guys. Take care.